Welcome back. In the last episode, we successfully defeated Ross' raiding party to rescue Polish nobles. Satisfied by our feat, Polish king offered us good sum of money if we help him to get rid of another raiding party of Swedish origin in the north. Here in Kamien, I am waiting for my bannermen to arrive. I have two additional parties from my clan patrolling the empire for the Kaiser. Carmelo leads another imperial contingent of German origin soldiers, while Evelyn commands my Italian troops. We are ready to march against Swedish raiders. I will attack their camp located in eight kilometers north to our current location. I believe they will try to haul their loot into their ships and attempt to escape. It is folly though, since we can catch up to them so easily. Let's make a battle plan. I will use very basic formation for this battle. I will place my crossbowmen in front of my infantry to skirmish with the enemy. They will retreat behind the infantry lines when the enemy close the gap. I will lead from center with my small retinue of knights. The both cavalry regiments will be placed on flanks to do flanking maneuver if needed. Carmelo will be my infantry captain since he has high skill on one-handed and two-handed weapons. Evelyn will lead 1st Regiment of Knights due to her good riding skill. Our crossbowmen started the battle with their volleys. It is raining, so their volleys will be less effective than before. Let's take the aerial view to look at the enemy formation. The enemy have two small ranged cavalry regiments placed on both flanks with the core of their strength lies in round shielded Viking infantry. If we can hold the center with our heavily armored Imperial infantry, we can defeat their cavalry on both flanks. Then we can attack their center from behind to encircle them completely. First, I will order my cavalry on both flanks to attack and drive the enemy cavalry out of the battlefield. Then, my infantry will be sent to engage the Viking infantry at the center. I need to ensure my infantry move in formation by staying close to them. It seems like the enemy cavalry performed fake retreat. In this case, I will order my cavalry on the left to help the infantry. As long as our standards held high, I know we didn't give ground yet. Let's see how the battle will progress before taking any action. The enemy about give up. Let's break their center. Companions, to me! This one is tough. Damn! I need to reach my horse immediately. Let's continue to the slaughter. The enemy army started their retreat. Victory is ours. Let's drive them from our shores. Follow them to their ships. The Polish king will be pleased by our victory today. Let's return to the capital to deliver him good news and claim our reward. Our business in Poland is over for now. I will return to Germany soon. I am sure the Kaiser wants to speak with me about the matters in the West.
News arrived that peasants were revolted against the imperial rule in the border town of Troy. They were pillaging and raiding countryside. With each raid, they are growing stronger. I have been sent to find out what they are up to next. Let's look into it. Hmm. The situation here seems to be dire than I thought. I have to call my clan members into the fight. Let's retreat back to Macon for now. I will merge with my clansmen there first. Then I will march against the peasants. I have called all my banners to Mason. Carmelo will be joining me with his Imperial troops. Evelyn brings soldiers from Northern Italy. Her army mostly consists of professional Genoese crossbowmen, which are highly effective against disorganized peasant rabble. Finally, Vlastimir, new member of our clan, will bring his Polish contingent, which is given to our clan for our services in the Kingdom of Poland. Let's march to Couron Chapeau. From there, we can stir north to meet the rebel army on the battlefield near Troy. I will wait for dawn to attack. Let's mimic their movements for now before closing in for battle. It is time to attack! Form ranks! Prepare for battle! Well, it will be another killing ground with our enemy have almost no armor. So, let's be quick about it. I will order my crossbowmen to destroy the enemy's cohesion by firing continuous volleys first. They are closing in. Let's send our infantry to meet them. I will order my cavalry to do frontal charge to disrupt the enemy's lines before the our infantry engage. Let's attack them from behind to finish the battle. Another easy victory. The Kaiser is waiting for me in Metz. Let's deliver him the good news. He will be satisfied when he hears the rebellion is completely crushed. Finally, the Kaiser accepted my allegiance to the Empire and gave me newly conquered city of Venice for my services. My father never ruled any land besides some border towns in the Duchy of Austria. Having Venice as my land makes me the most prominent person in the family.
The city of Venice has very high prosperity. It controls most of the Mediterranean trade routes. Consequently, this makes me the richest person in the empire. But the city wants to remain independent, so I expect disorder for few years before I integrate the city into the empire. It is wise to start building fairgrounds so I can increase the loyalty. I will place Imperial soldiers as a garrison to make sure there will be enough defenders against the riots. My father was loyal to Babenberg clan who owns the city of Wien, but I always find them unworthy of controlling such a great duchy. Long I dreamt being the Duke of Austria. Now, I have opportunity to do so. I have very good relations with the Kaiser due to serving him well in three different rebellions and the northern raids. Wien is located in crucial strategic location as the city has borders with both Hungary and Poland. Both kingdoms have smaller armies compared to the Imperial Army, so absorbing them would be easy. Let's ask Kaiser to make me the Duke of Austria. It is done. I am the new Duke of Austria now. It is a great achievement for me. With this move, I have become the most powerful noble in the Empire. Also, I am able to link my lands as I own both Venice and Austria. My next move will be assembling a great army to conquer already weakened Kingdom of Hungary. I also want to integrate Duchy of Bavaria to my realm. Then, I can bid for becoming the Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire. Let's march to Wien to make it the realm capital. From there, I will lead my duchy. It is time to end our second episode. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. What would you like me to do next? Please leave a comment. Goodbye.